guys, please excuse my fabulous look today. I'm really tired, like really, really tired. And I had a nightmare last night. I've been having them almost every night, like really weird, weird dreams. So, and then I had to go watch my friend's kids this morning. So I've been up since like 4 a.m. and I'm just really sleepy. Um, but anyway, I wanted to do a video about what we did differently this cycle because I've had a couple people ask what we did. Um, and it actually matches up pretty much exactly with what we did the last cycle we conceived. So I guess I kind of found the tricks that work for us. Um, first of all, I, I mean, I always take my prenatal vitamins, so that just kind of goes without saying. But along with my prenatal, I added zinc, which this is 50 milligrams, so I would cut it in half and take 25 milligrams. So I added that. I also took vitamin D every day. And then here's what I have read up on it, and people were like, yeah, I swear by this, Geritol. So I took this at night. So I took my prenatal in the morning, I took one of these at night. And um, I think this probably helped a lot for me because it's so high in iron and I tend to get anemic and low in iron. So I think this may be part of my issue <laughs> is my iron deficiency. So I think this really helped. Um, and then along with those things, we used pre-seed twice, which by what I guess my ovulation date to be, I think it would have been a day before I ovulated we used it and then a day after. But I don't think we used it the day of or something like that. I can't remember. Something like that. Um, it wasn't the first month that we had used pre-seed. I think I got it maybe about f four or five months ago. I don't even know anymore. And I would just kind of use it randomly here and there, like different cycles, um, to see if it would work and it never really did anything because the last two times that we conceived, we hadn't used pre-seed at all. So, um, but this time I guess it helped. What I did notice though, and I think this is so strange, every single time I have gotten pregnant, it has been on a cycle that I had very little to no fertile CM. It's just crazy to me. Like you would think the complete opposite, but every single time it has been when I've had very little CM. So I have no idea why that would be. And maybe that's just a weird coincidence. But um, yeah, that's kind of what happened. And we BD'd every single day. Um, my fertile week. And then pretty much like the week before that. We just we just did it every day basically is what I'm trying to say. We were still on vacation. You know, it's, it's whatever. But um, yes, yeah, so that's really all we did differently this cycle. It was, and then I guess afterwards, I just laid down and went to sleep. I didn't get up, I didn't do anything like that. I just laid down and went to sleep. So yeah, I guess all those things helped. Um, but that's really it. We didn't do anything too crazy or anything like that. I didn't do a handstand or, you know, I didn't use Luna Cup. That's the one I have. Didn't use that. So yeah, just the extra vitamins and a little bit of pre-seed. I think that's really what did it. But that's really all I had to say. Um, I just wanted to make this really quick for you guys. And so much baby dust to all of you who are trying. And I hope this video helps and maybe some of this stuff will help you get pregnant too. I hope so. I know that the zinc for me really helped regulate my cycle if you have an irregular cycle. Um, I've been using that now for shoot, I don't even know how many months now, a while, but it's helped a lot. And then the vitamin D I've been using on and off. And then the Geritol was, um, was a new thing because I used it the month I got pregnant the second time. And then obviously again this time. So yep, that's, that's pretty much what I did. So I hope you guys are doing great and I will be back to make another video soon. Bye guys.